Right guys, I'm going to build a GNOME Monosupape nine cylinder engine for my new project. Now I know I could go to a Thingiverse and get somebody with a 3D printer to probably print me out one, but um, there's no fun in that. I've got plenty of scrap items in the scrap box, so I'm going to go ahead and make one out of scrap. Bolsa, a little bit of piano wire and cotton. Um, so join me and let's get on with this project. It should be great fun. So if you want to follow along, see how I make it, uh, might inspire you to have a go at your own. Cheers, guys. 10 mil balsa, three apes. And I've made a, a disc, just sanded it now. And I've got some 16 millimeter uh, balsa, which I'm just cutting into nine sections to go around it. The top of the cylinder sort of um, angles in a little bit at the top so I'm just running the file around prior to cutting it and then I'll have a nice sort of uniform angle along, along the top so in fact I only got to do don't do that one because it's got to be I do every other one yeah every other one now before I cut it I think it's going to be easier to simulate the cooling fins in while it's all in one go I'm just going to do that by binding cotton around and round and round hopefully that will do the job that's what they did Let's put some CA around there Okay, just let that set a little bit and uh, get in with the next one. Just a matter of just, as you're doing this, yes, yeah, so a small degree of patience, but as you're doing this, you know, you're thinking of other things. The thing is with rotary engines, if they don't rotate, they don't really look the part so I'm hoping I can get this one to rotate okay I'm through okay it did go a little bit fuzzy but I can see a that in so there's one cylinder and that's going to go there I'm just putting these little caps on the top of what how can I make these little discs those looking to find a sort of a tube that I could sharpen up to punch some out of balsa but then I thought I couldn't find anything and then I thought what else can I use and I thought well I just got a bit of dowel there I'll just cut off some little slivers which is what I've done about in the middle this isn't a absolute scale replica of an engine so it's just very much standoff scale okay I'll do the other seven and then I'll be right back to you guys lots of CA that is a lot and then drop it on there with that pencil line at the top there we are one move that to there well, yeah let's yes this is working well so next one will be a lightweight one Pin up Turn it around, pin down. Uh, next one is a tight round. That's nine cylinders on. And um, while that's doing, I'm just looking at the push rods. Um, they suggest soft valve gear from soft wire. I'm going to put that on the top like that and then the push rods will come out from just behind this disc 
So I'm going to drill a little hole in there to hold it and it'll come out and then I'll file a little slot. Because my plan is to put a piece of brass tube all the way through the middle and just slide it onto the prop shaft and it can free spin. I've bent a piece of, it looks about one mil piano wire and pushed it into the end grain there. And if I put that in there, and then I can just push that down. I CA it in, push that down onto the top of the valve. So all I need to do is get a little file here and just file a little slot to accept the push rod. And that will come down onto there and CA into there. I think that works. So I'll make the other eight. Here is showing a lead with a spark plug coming out the side. I found these little um, servo grommet inserts. I thought if I just um, epoxy one on each cylinder like that, then I can epoxy the um, ignition lead, I guess it is, straight in there and bend it around and go into the crankcase. So I'm going to have to do these probably, or possibly one at a time, but I suppose I could hold it in with a pin, move it around. I've just glued three on. I'm going to glue three on at a time. And uh, I think they look pretty good, actually. I'm going to spray it all, I've decided. I'm going to spray it all and then touch in the spark plugs in white afterwards. So I've glued on all the little brass fer uh, ferrules, we'd call them. Is that what they are? This will help to bind all the thread together in case there's something I've missed. Obviously the spark plugs will look fantastic picked out in white. Let's leave it there for a minute, let it all dry thoroughly and come back to it very soon. It's looking good. Gotta say, <laughs> it looks fantastic. Okay, see you soon. I've looked online and um, the HT leads are sort of, they look like they're almost encased in uh, a little metal tube or something. So I'm just pushing it in there and hooking it into there like that. And then I'll just put a little um, drop of epoxy into each hole and uh, hold that in a little bit. Might have to wedge that just to keep it in nice and tight, but yeah going around like that. Oh, I put the center brass tube in as well. So it runs nice and free. I'll show you if you like. There's a rotary motor engine. And then the pop will go on there. Okay, so I've put the little spark plug leads in. They're actually encased in wire, so I've used wire and we'll let that set and then we'll come back to it and possibly give it a lick of paint got a little dent there to fill in so i've got to do that but uh yeah getting closer the fun part begins starting the back of cylinders let's work my way around Slowly but surely, join every stroke. It's actually sort of soaking in quite well on the cotton, considering it's got um, CA. Uh, soaked in CA. This is um, humble enamel. It's called um, oh metallic black. It's just metallic black. Number fifty-three. If you're wondering, this brush is ideal because it kind of holds a bit of paint and it's very stiff. So I can get into all the little nooks and crannies. 
I'm really loving this. This is great. This is just um, the real icing on the cake job, isn't it? And uh, it's going on lovely. It's looking. Turns all those bits of scrap material, bits of brass and steel and balsa wood and glue and filler and everything. Turns it all into a engine which is going to look amazing on the aeroplane to adjust the inlet valve you had to remove the cylinder because it was inside but when this engine came out it was um, a fantastic innovation because it was um, such a simple design with very few moving parts so it was very popular with the pilots uh, because it was much more reliable Okay, I can't just leave it like that. All right, we'll let that set, guys, and um, come back to it and see how it's looking. Okay, I think that's dry enough, guys, to put a bit of white on there. And so that's what I'm going to do. This is soft satin white, also known as spark plug white. There we go. There's one. That looks good. When this is um, completely dry, I'll give it a quick spray of uh, matte lacquer just to sort of lock everything in. Probably. There we go. Couldn't resist doing that. So give it a second coat. And uh, I think that's looking subtly smart. <laughs> Brilliant. So it just about finishes that guys I've just given it a quick spray of matte lacquer I've just weighed it and it just comes over just slightly over one ounce or 28 grams in total oh, which isn't too bad so that goes with the machine gun which I could put a bit of black on I suppose I haven't sprayed that with matte lacquer actually so perhaps I will just make it a little bit grubbier and then I can put the windshield on, which mounts on that bracket on the front. So there are my two pieces for my new project. A nine cylinder mono soup eight gnome engine and one Lewis machine gun. That'll sit on there. And as the motor spins, the propeller will go on the end. And as the, as the electric motor spins, this will just spin up naturally with it. But it's not actually connected to it. It'll just spin up with it. So there we are. Very pleasing. Great project. Thanks for looking in. Hit the uh, little subscribe button down below if you want to see the aeroplane that's going to be fitted to. And uh, thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you've been uh, educated as to the ways of making things out of scrap. <laughs>